Hi folks, my name is Umkar Jagdare and I'm coming at you from Detroit, Michigan. Today I'm going to talk to you about Masters of Science in Construction Management, what are the salary range, if you can find a job after graduating, and all those other good things. But before we get started, I would really appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up to the video. It allows me to reach out to more people just like you. Thank you very much. So let's jump into it. Masters of Science in Construction Management. Man, the amount of comments I've got on this single master's kind of like a discipline is crazy. Every time I put a civil engineering video out there, you guys come back at me and like, hey, what is the construction management salary? Tell me about masters in construction management. Is construction management better or structures engineering is better? So I understand that. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Understand one thing, folks. Whenever I tell you, whenever I'm talking about civil engineering, whenever I'm talking about anything related to civil engineering, all the fields I'm talking about, like construction management, structural engineering, transportation engineering, highway engineering, geotechnical engineering, water resources, all of these fields come under that. These are one and the same fields. So construction management is no different than master of civil engineering. It's a different, it's a sub-discipline. Um, the average incomes, the masters, the programs, most of them are same because you will be taking classes in civil engineering. But I'm gonna go through the rundown of what really, in what includes in this degree, okay? So let's jump right into it. So first of all, Masters of Science in Civil Engineering, uh, Construction Project Management is a sub-discipline. So you can choose Masters of Science in Construction Project Management or Construction Project Engineering. Is the one and the same thing, folks. There's not a lot of difference. Now, where, which place in US, which state has a good university for construction management? Like I always tell you, understand, um, the bigger the city, the bigger the opportunity. So what I would do, in my opinion right now, from my understanding, Texas is a great place. Uh, so in Texas, Dallas, Houston, uh, Austin, these places are growing really, really fast. Uh, tremendous growth is happening there. They have a lot of income coming into the state and that's why they have more money to invest into infrastructure. So these are great places. So Texas, Florida, Arizona, California. Mm, California is questionable because a lot of different things are happening right now. Look into it. Um, other states include Georgia, New York City, New Jersey area. Michigan is a great place for that. That's where I'm from. Boston is a great place. Um, so basically, even Washington uh, metro area. So here's what I tell you. Look for cities or metro areas with more than a population of 5 million people because that's a bigger opportunity. Now, if you want to save money on your master's, then maybe go to a small state um, because usually the tuition fees are lower there. So you may be able to get a cut on your master's. Okay, so more on that soon. So how does the degree look like? How is gonna look like? Um, so usually for your master's of uh, science and construction management, you will have to do about 12 classes and that's about um, 36 credits so one class is three credits so about 36 credits uh, you should be able to do that in two years okay so um when should you graduate try to graduate around may understand no matter when you start like if you start in january or if you start in fall which is uh, august time frame try to graduate around may because understand one thing the entire america is graduating around may people are going through their grad walks during may job companies they know that people are graduating. They're going to create openings during this time. Excuse me. They're going to create <clears throat> opportunities during this time. So they are planning for this new intake to come in. They're planning for these new people to come in. So it's, it's in your best interest to graduate during this time. If you're a high caliber person, you don't care when you graduate, you're like, you already have a join, job lined up before you graduate, great for you. You can graduate anytime you want to but I want to maximize my chances. I want to make sure that once I graduate from my degree, I get a job. So um, I did a mistake. I wouldn't say a mistake, but I, I did a little bit different. I graduated around May because I had to take a summer class. Uh, that made me find a job one month later. But even then, I was fortunate because the company I, was, um, I found a job for, they had an unexpected project come in and they needed someone to hire. So I was just fortunate there, folks. So understand one thing, try to graduate around May because that's when the most of the people are graduating, okay? All right, so how much is it gonna cost you to complete your master's? So from my experience, I think it should cost you about 35 to $45,000. Anything if you're paying more, 
50, 55, 60 thousand dollars, I don't know why you are paying that. Because you can go to good universities like University of Texas Arlington, like Georgia Tech. Um, it's a top school, but still, you know, 20 top 20 schools, you should be able to get in if you have good scores. But universities like this, I don't think you're gonna pay more than fifty thousand dollars. I think thirty-five to forty-five thousand dollars is a great. You shouldn't be paying more than that, in my opinion. If you're going to universities that are asking you sixty, sixty-five, seventy thousand dollars, I know friends who, of mine who have done seventy thousand dollars masters in electronics and communication. That's a lot of money, folks. I wouldn't waste that kind of money. I wouldn't invest that kind of money. Don't let me say that. Okay, so. Try to finish your masters, look at different programs, do your research, find out universities, go to the university website and find the tuition fees there. Identify the tuition fees for international students. You are not an in-state, you're an international student. So look at the tuition fees which are for you, okay? Usually every single university website, they do tell you how much you need to pay, okay? As they go, they want to make money, they'll tell you how much they, you owe them, okay? All right. How is the job market once you graduate? Now, I know a lot of you have questions like, um, is structures better than uh, construction? Is transportation better? Which one is better? I wanna do which one is better. I wanna do which one has more opportunities. I wanna do which one has more income, which has pay higher pay scale. Um, I'm gonna come back to that, but understand one thing, folks. Like I always say, um, do what you are passionate about, do what you love. Because if you end up doing, let's say for $5,000 more, you do a structural engineering, and for 12 months in the office, are you gonna be sad? Are you gonna be unhappy that you're making five grand extra, but you have to do structures, and you don't get to do what you love? So just go, go ahead and do what you enjoy, go ahead and do what you love, and the money will follow you, okay? Don't worry about that. But um, like, in one of the videos I recently made, uh, like salaries for civil engineering, similar salaries folks. Construction management is a part of that. Um, last year, a friend of mine graduated. Uh, he works in the metro area, Atlanta. And um, I think his salary was about $55,000. And that's for construction management program. So uh, some of my other friends have graduated from uh, CM and they are getting salaries about 60, 65. So I think an average salary for construction project manager in normal parts of US, not including California and New York area, is about $60,000. And um, there are other certificates which you can do for construction project management. Uh, I'm not aware of them right now, but um, I'll, I'm gonna do a little bit of studying in that, but you should be able to find it online. So uh, there are project management licenses which you can pursue that can help you go ahead in your career, okay? On the side note, folks, you know, um, so if this is all the information I had, but I wanted to talk to you personally about a couple of things. Understand one thing, folks. A uh, lot of you people ask me questions, sir, can you, you ask me questions like, hey, is this a great university? Uh, I found out about this university, should I go here? Folks, understand one thing. That's a great question, you know, uh, and you have to understand one thing, I'm just like you, you know, I may be just in career, maybe four or five years ahead of you, I've done things before you, so, but it's physically impossible for me to understand the knowledge or have the knowledge about 100 different universities and give my opinion in it, on it. So if I've heard about university like that, I will definitely give you my opinion, but understand one thing, folks, the way a lot of people are asking questions to me, I feel like you're looking for information easily, and that's not the right approach, folks. Understand one thing, you want to find information, but you want to also work hard to find it. You want to do your own research. Don't go to YouTube, don't go to um, these different websites and get information handed to you very easily because that won't add value to you because you're not learning the skill of finding information, doing research. Because kudos to all these YouTubers and all these great people, man. Like. The amount of information they put out there, some of the people I've seen videos with, it's incredible. And the amount of service they are doing for folks like you who are now coming to America is is amazing. But sometimes I also feel that they're also doing a disservice because when I was coming to America in 2011, I had to go through all these different researches. I had to go to University of, for example, New Haven's Facebook page, con like, get into that, then I had to find a page for fall 2020, sorry, fall 2011, go into that, 
and then start connecting with people send messages send 20 30 messages to different people one of them would reply to me and then i had to find information today i feel like all these youtubers are doing it easy for you so maybe people are getting uh, you know like they just want us to do research and give it to people and i don't think that's the right approach folks you want to go to the university remember I remember going to University of New Haven's Wikipedia page and reading about every single thing. I have a question for you. Do you know the endowment of your university, the one you are looking for? You know, let's say you like one university. What is their endowment? Do you understand what endowment is? You need to know all this, folks. If you don't know all of this, what kind of master's degree are you doing it? Why are you going to that university? You don't have an, even a reason for you to go there. So this is called research. This is called knowing the university back and forth. I remember I had a criteria, like I used to be like, if the university is founded after 1950, I'm not going there. I wanted a university which was in the business for over, over 80, 90, 100 years, because I wanted to make sure when I graduate, there are enough alumni in the industry who can help me find a job. If I apply, there are people in the industry who have graduated from my school. They'll be like, oh my God, this guy is from University of New Haven or Lawrence State University. That's where I graduated from. Let me hire him, you know, because I know that's a great school. And that's what you want to do, folks. So whenever you are looking into universities, go for universities that have good alumni base. They have good track record, okay? All right, and so, what else you know um i'll leave you with this thing folks the reason you want to do a lot of research because when you come to america you're going to be prepared you're going to be prepared for all the challenges you will be going through so at that point of time you don't have to ask anybody you know because you're not going to get answers to all the questions online so i always remember i heard this quote they say in the time of peace if you sweat more you'll have to bleed less in the time of war. So understand one thing, do make sure you do your research where you're coming from and so that you are prepared better to come here and answer these questions for yourself, okay? I think that's pretty much what I had. If you have any questions about construction project management, again, put it in the comments section. Um, I would love to hear from you. If you want to connect with me personally, uh, you can connect to me on uh, my Instagram handle at Omkar A. Jagdare. Um, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. But again, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.